like and subscribe right now or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Myths are called myths for a particular reason, you see. That's mainly because they're untrue and most of the stories told by the ancient people all those centuries ago just to scare children or explain strange phenomena never actually happened. Or did they? Today we're going to be breaking down some of history's most fabled mythical creatures, those that might have actually existed. If you're excited like I am, grab a bowl of mythical popcorn and let's get in. Make sure to stick around for the creature in number one to find out why a certain novel writer might hold the answers to some important historical questions. Number 10. Unicorns. It seems that we're starting off with the good stuff right away. Everyone knows what unicorns are. Unicorns first appeared in early Greek artworks and writings, described as a horse-like or goat-like animal that had a single horn on its forehead. The unicorn was described by the Greeks as a glorious-looking horse with a white body, a purple head, and blue eyes. The singular horn on the unicorn's forehead was a cubit-long horn with a red-colored tip, black color in the middle, and white at the base. These myths believed that whoever drank from the horn of a unicorn would instantly be healed of whatever illness they were suffering from. Sounds just about mythical. According to deeper studies, the actual animal these descriptions were pulled from was actually the Indian rhinoceros. While it was never proved that the Indian rhino could in fact do all those things with its horn, the animal did fit the description of the unicorn perfectly. Number 9. The Bunyip the bunyip might not be a globally popular mythical creature, but it is a relatively popular one in Australia. The creature was said to lurk in the swamps, creeks, and riverbeds in Australia and became a part of the traditional beliefs and stories throughout Australia. The bunyip was described as an amphibious animal, which meant it could live in water and on land. It supposedly had a round head, an elongated neck, and a body that looked like that of an ox, a hippos, or a manatee, according to some people who claim to see it. Several thousands of years later, scientists discovered fossils in certain parts of Australia that seemed to match the general description of the bunyip. Of course, the details might have been largely exaggerated. Overall, there are, in fact, some bits and pieces of truth woven in with the stories about this mythical creature. Number 8. Chupacabra Stories of a blood-sucking, night-hunting monster that left a trail of blood and bodies everywhere it went might have been the highlight of many folklores back in the day. Stories of the chupacabra first sprung up in the 90s, and they mostly described the monster as a bipedal creature, which means it walked on two feet like humans, with spikes down its back and with long, dangerous claws. The beast was purportedly responsible for killing and draining the blood of livestock. That led people to give it its name, chupacabra, which means goat sucker in Spanish. Surprisingly enough, bodies of dead chupacabras started showing up. Of course, these carcasses were what they thought were chupacabras since they fit most of the descriptions. The bodies found were not actually bipedal and seemed to be more of mutated dogs, if anything at all. Still, they did not explain the puncture marks left on the bodies of livestock. It could possibly have been these dog-like creatures, but the truth remains that evidence points to the existence of something out there that sucked the blood out of the livestock. Something. Number 7. Direwolf. Direwolves were one of the most exciting features of George R. R. Martin's Ice and Fire books, and HBO's adaptation of those books in the Game of Thrones, besides the dragons. Duh. You might have thought that these were simply fictional blow-ups of regular wolves that we still have living in the wild today, but you might be surprised to find out that dire wolves did, in fact, exist. Albeit they were not as huge as George R.R. R. Martin's pony-sized wolves of the north, these beasts, scientifically called the Canis Diarus, existed from about 125,000 to 10,000 years ago. They lived from coast to coast in the last ice age, as far north as Canada and as far south as Bolivia. Many treasured fossils have been found in many sites in these places. However, the most preserved fossils discovered to date were found in the La Brea Tar Pits, located in downtown Los Angeles in the United States. Scientists theorized that the ancient pack of wolves got trapped in the gooey asphalt down in the pits while hunting another animal. The asphalt trap led to the perfectly preserved fossils over decades, which now proved that the dire wolves weighed as much as 130 pounds and measured about 6 feet in length from tail to nose. Imagine that size! Number 6. Vampires. Coming in at number 6 is a mythical creature that raises the stakes much higher. See what I did there? Vampires are evil, mythical beings who roam the night searching for humans to sink their fangs into and drain their blood. 
They may in fact be the most popular of all the mythical creatures out there. Many people seem to date the rise of their popularity to Bram Stoker's Count Dracula novel in 1897, but they have been around for much longer. Although Count Dracula is the first famous vamp, there was a Romanian ruler named Vlad Dracula, more affectionately called Vlad the Impaler. Cute. Vlad the Impaler ruled Wallachia in Romania. Vlad was said to be cruel, wicked, and brutally vile, especially when it came to his enemies. He impaled them on a wooden stick, hence the nickname. Legend has it that while watching his enemies bleed out and die, good old Vlad would grab a goblet, collect their blood, and drink it as though it were wine. He would also dip it in bread like some sort of blood dip. Vlad was one sick, sick man. So it seems that we do have our original vampire story after all. Sorry, Michaelsons. Number 5. Basilisk If you're a Potterhead, this name would not be strange to you at all. The Basilisk was a gigantic serpent, a magical beast that is typically bred by dark wizards as per the Harry Potter world. You might remember that one experience in the Chamber of Secrets when Harry fought the Basilisk placed by Salazar Slytherin inside the chamber. According to the book's author, J.K. Rowling, Basilisk had the ability to instantly petrify or turn to stone anything that looked directly into its eyes. The Basilisk was huge. Well, well, we are not in luck to know whether the Basilisk did exist exactly how Rowling described, there have been discoveries of remains of a massive snake called a titanoboa, showing that snakes of that magnitude did exist. Imagine how horrid that creature would be. A 40-foot-long monstrosity that towered over everyone and everything, destroying anything in its path. Although you might not need Godric Gryffindor's sword to destroy this monster anymore, as it went extinct tens of millions of years ago. This is still proof that something nasty, possibly this creature, roamed the earth. Are you a Slytherin? Tell us which Hogwarts house you belong to in the comments section below. Number 4. Amazons If you've ever seen Xena the Warrior Princess or even Wonder Woman, you might have a pretty clear idea of what an Amazon is. Tall, strong, fierce, and ruthless fighter women who showed no mercy to their enemies. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best picture was sent in by a curious subscriber who wanted to know the story behind it. If you ever find an interesting picture on the internet that you would like to know the story behind, make sure to send it over to us. Who knows? Our next video's best pick just might be your picture. Number 2. Kraken If you're a Norse mythology geek, like I am, then the Kraken is not a strange creature to you. According to the Norse sagas, the Kraken is a terrifying creature that dwells off the coasts of Norway and Greenland. The Kraken has made an appearance in a number of films, including Clash of the Titans, where the iconic line, RELEASE THE KRAKEN! Originally, Krakens were thought to be as real as real gets, but over the centuries, they were reduced to nothing more than myths. With closer studies and findings, scientists have now asserted that the Krakens of lore could have actually been a colossal squid or a giant squid. The descriptions certainly matched the tentacles and humongous size. It all fits perfectly. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So, here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Dragons Coming in at number 1, we have one of the coolest mythical creatures that ever were. Change my mind if you dare. Just kidding. But it goes without saying that almost everyone has heard of dragons before. Even if the descriptions vary in the slightest, dragons are a kind of staple when it comes to the world of myths and legends. If you're not a total nerd, you might just know dragons from Game of Thrones, and if we're being honest, those guys did an amazing job at portraying these beautiful beasts, or as Daenerys Targaryen would say, they're not beasts, they're my children. Anyway, dragons originated in folklore as early as the Greek mythology and Sumerians. No one knows exactly when these beasts first emerged, but these large serpentine creatures with tough, leathery skin, wings wider than a full man's height, and mouths that breathe fire have always been marveled at. The first description of a probable dragon fossil bone discovery can be found in a book written around 300 AD by the Chinese scholar Chang Ku. He describes the finding of dragon bones at Wusheng in what is now Sichuan province. These bones were large and terrifying, and as you could probably guess, they fit the age-old descriptions of dragons. 
there we have it guys, 10 mythical creatures that might have actually existed. Don't forget to give us a like and smash that subscribe button for years of amazing luck. See you in our next video.